So Nick, in your current role, why is modelling and digitalisation so important? It's absolutely critical because we are in a race against climate change and we must get our technology to our partners as soon as possible. So I'm programme director for our electrolysis stack technology and I lead the team developing that at the moment and it's so critical to have simulation tools in place that give us the right insights to drive that design so we really depend on it to go at pace. It's very difficult to instrument and to stack at 600 degrees C. We can get massive insights from our modelling tools though and we've used that to really optimise the design of our stacks going forward and we can now start to think about what our partners need in terms of manufacturing variation and we can actually build virtually thousands of stacks and see that they're robust to manufacturing variation which is so critical as we go into this scale-up phase. And I guess simulation is also useful for strategies in, in terms of controlling all of this. So it, there's the design aspect and then yeah. there's the control aspect of the system. Absolutely. So we already do that. So we use our models in the loop with our control systems and, and we share that with our partners to allow them to operate their system safely and also at their optimum operating point. In the IP that we lock into our models, is that going to help also directly our licensees? Absolutely. Uh, so so they, they get the direct benefit of that in the technology that we transfer to them. But also in the future, we see possibilities where we can run those models off our test data and effectively share that with our customers too, so that we can collaborate and see where their technology is performing in the field as well as here at Ceres. We're harnessing data from all sorts of, of areas, including our tests, but also our manufacturing mm. and, and actually just you know, data about the materials that we use and so on. Mm. So just from a data perspective, we have to have the right infrastructure. Correct. And we've, we've just invested in that uh, too. So we've just put in a state of the art cloud based data processing engine and we have all of our test data and our manufacturing data now streaming to that cloud endpoint which is hugely valuable and also hugely exciting for someone in a data science field because you can start to connect the dots with that data and really get amazing insights from connecting various different forms of disparate data that we couldn't do in the past. What I see as exciting is that we're getting closer and closer to full digital twins here, including you know, being able to virtually run a test identically to test that is run parallel and being yeah. able to possibly yeah, predict we, when test would go wrong. We can almost do that in parallel already and we can create virtual tests of different stacks and we can run them in parallel. It's very powerful because you can understand what's happening on test and whether it matches your model prediction. And if, if it doesn't, well, maybe there's something wrong with the test or the stack. It's very insightful. One of the other areas that is so, so difficult to do in any other way is to predict how long our stack will last, right? So yeah. it, why is this so important in, in this industry? It's critical because our technology needs to last a long time. And if you think about it, you can't test for 40,000 hours, otherwise you'd be too late. So you have to understand how our technology will last through time. And that gives you amazing insights in how to understand how it will perform through life but also it drives our technology decisions in the innovation space because you see the opportunities from doing that. We're getting to a stage now with our lifetime modeling where we're starting to use that to drive our technology development. And that's super exciting because we're actually getting to the place where we're really using analysis and model-led development. We're really glad that you shared this excitement you have in, in modeling and simulation. It's a great journey that we're on. Yeah, Thank you. Definitely. Thank you too.